Alrighty then, folks, let's go ahead and hit up Farber. And from what I hear, I am going to die horribly multiple times on this map, so we might as well get a start on it. Farber it is. I'm not sure whether to dread this or anticipate it, but one way or another, we're doing it. Alright. We've lowered the shield and gained access to this world. Leah, perform a quick scan. What are the Loki up to? Scanning. I detect no Loki or other life forms. Everything here is an automated machine system. It's a massive effort, though. What's going on? What's being built? Give me a moment. This isn't good at all. I think I understand part of what's going on. There are automated ore harvesters here that are constructing a prism ship. The ship's sole purpose is to focus ether from a totem. Several civilizations experimented with this kind of tech, but on a much smaller scale. Whoever designed this ship has managed to create a massive prism ship. There is also a heavily altered totem in the northeast. It is covered by some protective armor as well. What good does focusing ether do? Nothing on a small scale. On a large scale, ah, I see now. The signals in this system are focused on this world for a reason. This is elegant beyond anything I have ever experienced. The signals represent the signals present in this system are near the information capacity for this region of space. It wouldn't be possible to put more information in a volume of space bounded by a smaller surface area. The only way to get more information density is to increase the apparent surface area of space, and ether is extra dimensional. So that prism ship can receive the signals being directed at this system, then pack the information into a smaller region of space than is otherwise possible? Exactly. And then what? And then, it is my suspicion that it will transmit all of that information via an ether beam through the remnants of Rift Space. That's the only purpose I can foresee. I do believe the results of this transmission will have one other effect. If that prism ship is allowed to launch and create an ether beam over the enhanced totem in the northeast, if that happens, the resulting ether backblast will, will destroy this entire star system. Well, we better not let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps if we destroy the ship, it will also cripple whatever the Loki are trying to accomplish. I wish I could concur, but based on what we saw on Ultrav, the amount of information in the signals and the size of this facility, I believe this world is but one of perhaps millions like it. The visible universe must be covered with millions of worlds just like this one, all building prism ships to focus information and transmit it. This is all so much bigger than us. How can we ever hope to stop this? Well, we can start by surviving here and now. If we don't destroy that prism ship, we will most certainly be destroyed. All right, tomorrow holds little promise, but today won't be our final day. I promise you that. All right, we're gonna pause it as soon as we play. So I've got to destroy the ore processors before the prism ship launches. And I'm assuming that I don't do that through nullifiers. So, there is an emitter on every freaking one of these islands. Why? Why? Uh, okay, so this is going to present a massive problem for me. Um, I can't drop a command center. Well, I mean, I can. But I don't want to over here because I won't have enough power to build up a defense in time to actually make that work. So what I'm gonna have to do is put my command centers down here and up here. The problem with this is going to come from the fact that I have very, very little usable space. And I've got some ore down here. This is gonna take some serious planning here. I have more usable space for power up on this one than I do in this one. Um, da, 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 da. okay, uh, Liara Sniffles, the email address is in the description. Um, let me try. I'm assuming that first of all, I do need collectors. So let's place a couple of collectors up here for this one and a couple of collectors over here for him. And I need to 
use my maximum space here, optimize for as much energy gathering as I possibly can. So we're going to do that and we're going to play for a second. <clears throat> we're going to let this continue until we get our stuff built. So there we go. All right. Now we need to start something new, and it's going to take a little while for this to fill up. I've got level 4, level 5, 6, and 7. So this is going to have to build up quite high to get me on the plateau. The problem is that I'm going to run out of usable space for energy gathering long before I die to the creeper. So there's that. Um, let me build a siphon. Oh, no, not a siphon. A ore mine over here. As soon as that's possible. And I think the same thing over here. I think the key lies in the anti-creeper. So let's get this ore mine down. And we'll play. Play. We're filling. We're filling. We're good. <clears throat> I think I started too much over on this side. So let's get a sprayer down right here. There we go. Splitting up over there. And we're going to get a sprayer down right here. <clears throat> and then we need to get... Oh, look at the ships. I'm going to pause. And start getting more collectors down. I don't think I even have the space to build a freaking forge here. Okay. Um. Kill the transports. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay. Um. I think the sprayer is going to do some good, but I'm not entirely sure. Ah. All right. We'll play it and see what happens. Got the sprayer and the ore collector building. So that's going to go there. I've got extra power now, so let's lay these in and start getting some more power online. Probably going to lose these, but that's okay. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Sprayer. Just get done. Just get done. That's all I want you to do. How are you doing up here? You have completed the first round of collectors. So let's go ahead and build these up. Get more power online. There we go. All right, the anti creep has started flowing, so that's good. Let's build a cannon down here to kind of cut off access. That'll work. And then that will also open up the ability for us to build on the first level. Um, we're gonna have to build here, I think. Come on, you got this. You got this. <clears throat> We're at 6% at the moment. So it's not super dangerous, but I definitely need to be doing something about this. Okay, so he is coming up to collect the ore over here. Maybe I should build a beam right on the edge. I think that's doable. We'll see if that actually kills the ship here. Um, I can do the same over here. So we'll build a beam there. Ding. And we've actually got positive net power over here. So let's go ahead and run some more collectors up. Maybe we'll be able to get some usable energy from these. There we go. I'm actually going to jump you down a step. Come on, little man. You got this. You got this. Oh, you don't got this. Um... Yeah, we'll be okay. All right, all right, we're good. Did the beamer kill it? The beamer cannot kill it. Oh, well. Oh, there are spores that are launching very soon, so I definitely need beams. Uh, beam over here would not be a bad idea at all. Please, quickly, please, quickly. Yes, thank you. Um, let's go ahead and build some collectors around the back end here. Do 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 And we need to move you up to the front end here. So that we can eliminate all that. 
And I think we've actually got a reasonably good setup here. You don't need to destroy or transport except on the starter islands. Destroy the ships before launch. Oh, it's going to take a nullifier or a cannon or something. Okay, so let's focus. This up here has more income. So let's go, uh, let's go all out on this one. So we're going to build up a few cannons here and try to beat this creeper back to where I can start taking away that circle. Because I think a reactor on the circle is going to be the way that I feed my power addiction here. So there's that, and we're on full over here, so let's go ahead and get some cannons up on this side as well. Cannons are actually going to work pretty well over here. Um, let's get you there. There we go. Not there. All right, that'll work. The beamer is in danger, but it is not yet dead, so I think we'll be okay. That's good. That's good. And we've got cannons coming online. Let me see if I can build... Nope, it is not a nullifier that kills it. So it might actually be a mortar. I get the feeling that this is going to take more than one try. Snipers kill transports, but that's just a waste of power at this stage. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're at 28% at the moment. Um, let me try a sniper just to see. But other than that, though, I do need to start moving these guys up. And let's get a relay in here, so we can actually get some power delivery. <clears throat> there we go. I think that relay actually died. Build another. Awesome. And you are not connected to anything, I don't think. Nope, you are not. So relay over there as well. And we need to get ASAP a nullifier down. I have no power to feed all of this stuff. Crap. It's going to take mortars. It is definitely going to take mortars. We're going to have to leave that one alone. I may actually just need to restart this one. We're at 37%. I'm being told I need to focus my resources on one and to take the starter island. Three or four sniper shots of transport. Too many transports. It takes too many snipers to kill a transport. Not worth it. So I'm getting some conflicting messages here. But that is okay. We will figure something out here. Let me build you there. We're going to drop a gun over here and move our guns up from the back. Not have to build anymore. <clears throat> We're going to destroy you. So you're not resupplying on us. And we might be able to drop a nullifier here. Um, right there is going to be where I got to place it. And right now, there's simply too much creep. But once those mortars come online, we'll definitely be able to get it under our control. Okay, so that's working out well. Let's drop you in the front here. And you. And you. Yes, we're doing quite well on this side. So we're going to build two more collectors there for that extra bit of power income. And then we will get a nullifier online. So I'm actually doing better on this island than the other, which is a little bit unexpected. We're at 47% at the moment, which is not good, honestly. But uh, we will have to work with what we got. I'm going to build a nullifier there. Which will hopefully take care of this as long as that doesn't hit us. We lost a relay, which is... How did I lose a relay back there? That would have been a spore, right? It's probably a spore. Where's my beamer? I need to move my beamer up to the north side. There we go. Still got a shot, but not a great one. Yeah, I'll, I'll grant that. Okay, so we're going to move these up. Hope that the nullifier gets in there. Come on, come on. Just need you to finish. That's all I need. And over on this side, I actually lost my one that was there. Let's build this again. Nullifier. There we go. We're going to move you up because that is going to help out my survival chances here. Both of you guys are full of ammunition. And that is glorious. Okay. 
So, we've got all that set up. If I build an ore mine on this, does it stop the transport ship from landing? That is the question. I am not sure. I do not know. Oh, goodness gracious. Why did you not kill it? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, one spore. Yeah. Why didn't you kill it? Let me move up a little more. Alright, so you're building... And you are almost complete. We're going to stop resupply on all of you. <clears throat> there we go. Hopefully the two cannons can hold out with the increased supply of ammunition until the nullifier can rip off. Yeah, 64%. I don't think I have a... Uh... I, I don't think that I will have enough time to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart and we're going to focus super hard on getting one island and I'm going to try to gain a foothold right here. I think that's how I'm going to have to do this. So let's do it that way. I'm going to go ahead and restart this one and we're going to see what happens if I try it again. I have more time. Ah, I already did it. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Command center. <laughs> there are multiple stages of timers. Well, I didn't know this. I'm sorry. Let's uh, let's get this in. We're going to do four over there, and we're going to do... Let's see. We're going to do three over here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can't uh, can't talk so low of everything that's going on and then expect me to stay in it. Um, let's go for collectors out here. <clears throat> I think I actually needed collectors more than anything else last time around. So there's that full. And we're going to start around the back with more collectors. And yet more collectors. And we're going to build a cannon over here. And a cannon over here. And then even more collectors. Okay, so all of that's good. As soon as this cannon starts firing, it'll be able to beat back the creeper right there. And then we are going to get... An ore mine built over here. Um, ba -da -ba -bum, ore mine there. I'm just gonna. I don't know. I should have been building up here as well. All right. So stuff here. And we're gonna need a cannon here, and here, and there. And there. All right, maybe he'll survive. Okay, so down here, we're full on power again. Let's go ahead and get our cannons in. Start suppressing the masses of creeper. And we do have anti-creep forming as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move up. Ooh, lost a pulse cannon. Not good. Not good at all. I'm going to build another back there. Uh, that might be lost to me, but that's okay. We're going to secure this island down here. All right, so we've got all of that set. We're going to build a collector in the front end. And that is going to collect a little bit more power. Just a little bit, just a little bit. That's all you need, though. You're going to dump in. Um, we've got a spore in one minute. So we're going to need to get a beam up right here. Go all the way on the north side. That's going to start drawing yet more stuff. And then we're going to get a sprayer right on the front line. All right, all of that is well and good. Let's go ahead and get another collector, or a pair of collectors, rather, out there. We can actually drop this up there and get another collector in at the back. That'll give us even more power. Okay. 
Um, all of this up here, I think I'm just going to kind of abandon that for the moment. I'm going to focus on getting... No, I'm going to pause because that'll give me enough time to actually do this stuff. I'm going to get this in place up here. We're going to do this any place we have a good amount of stuff. Um, we're going to move a cannon up to the front. We're going to leave you where you're at. We need another cannon over here to suppress that. Then we need an ore mine. Let's build him there. And an anti-creeper sprayer right on the front end of things to start beating that back. And you, with everything extra that you've got, I think a mortar might not be a bad idea because that's going to be able to do some damage. So we'll leave that up there and see how it does and we'll play down here. Alright. So, not fantastic, but it's working. We're going to move this cannon up again. A little bit closer to the creeper. And we are going to grab another collector right here to eke every little bit of power that I can out. You need a beam up north. Oh crap, I forgot the beamer. Um, where are you going? What are you going to hit? Probably a collector. Nope, direct hit. Nope, you're going all the way to the back end. Well, crud. That is absolutely monstrous. Why would you do such a thing to me? Crap. That's bad. That is bad news up there. All right, we're gaining ground down here, though, so all is not lost. Let's move him up there. We need to get another collector in and move you guys up because you are no longer firing. So we're going to get you up there. We'll build a collector over here because we need more power collection, of course. I did not realize that I would lose that. There we go. We're going to move you guys up and you up. Oh, that's good. And let's get a mortar built. Um, we need two mortars, I think. We'll clear enough space for us to build a nullifier there. And then we'll build a reactor directly on this. We're going to move you. Yeah, we have 108 till the next launch. So we're going to move him over there to protect. Yeah, they're launching both spores up here. That is so ridiculous. Ah, I'm just going to abandon that. I totally forgot to build a beamer up there. That is my bad, peeps. We're going to build a nullifier right here, right now, and take care of this mess. Get our reactor in. We are at 31%, so I'm about to take the island about twice as quick as it was last time. Okay. Maybe this will work out for me. Just maybe. Maybe, baby. Bell is giving me weird looks, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> uh, okay. Hopefully we'll get enough power from that to actually keep things online. Yes. Might not should have moved that gun up quite so close. I'm not going to move him, because I think he is keeping things safe. We're going to turn you to always on to just start pouring in some anti-creeper. Keep that stuff back from us. And we've got anti-creeper on the way now. Okay, good. Nullifier will come up. We'll build a reactor there. And all will be good with the world. Um, The other thing that I need to do up here is I'm going to have to find a way to clear a spot. So that I can establish a foothold on this side and drop my other command center. Um, I'm going to need, yeah, a forge would definitely be nice, but I don't really have the space or the mass to build it at the moment. Um, there's that gone. Move the mortar up so he can rapidly get rid of the remaining creeper. And then we need a, a reactor on there ASAP. Okay, so that's good. And we're going to build two snipers. To try and get rid of that transport ship so I can also claim the anti-creeper there. Alright, we're going to turn you off. There we go. Collect everything back up. And then build a couple of bombers. What was that? Oh! Oh no! No, it's got, it's got protection. Oh, crap. 
That's not going to work well. I, how am I supposed to do this? If I can't get bombers over there... I can establish a foothold right there. Um... Yeah, Bertha would be good, but that's going to take... Okay. That's not only going to take a while to build, it's going to be a doozy to, uh... I don't know. We'll, we'll build two of them. See what happens. Um... I've got two snipers building right there that'll take out this ore ship so I can claim that. That kind of ruined the entire plan that I was going for. I think I should have been up here. I think I did this backwards again. Because if I came from this island, I could go across right here to grab a foothold. Um. Hmm. Thoughts, guys. Thoughts. I'm thinking I needed to go across here. I'm at 50% right now, so theoretically, I could do, let's see, guppies apply for the no-fly zone. Well, so I can't ferry excess energy across. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a buttload of Berthas over here, and also a, um, a forge. And that forge is going to provide me with some awesome tech. So I'm going to do that and two more Berthas. And then I am going to also lay out collectors here. Because I need to make sure that every single space is utilized as well as I possibly can. There we go. All right. So we're going to play. And we're going to go up here and focus like mad on the terrible, terrible things that are happening here. And uh, one of those terrible, terrible things is the fact that I did not build a beam. So we're going to do that straight off. You are going to go to always on so that we can just start pouring anti-creeper forth from our cannon. Um, that's a good thing. Let's connect to our totem as well. I'm going to get that down. These only take a couple of cycles to build, and they give me power. So I think I'm just going to overbuild them. There we go. I'm going to drop the cannon back here so it can mop up the mess that I made in the back. Hopefully. Hopefully. The anti-creeper is starting to come out, so that's making a difference. Uh, we can get this cannon up to the front, I think. All of this is coming online. That's good. We have got our forge nearly online and everything is building at a maddening pace over here. So that's good. And I believe, yes, we have killed a ship. So we can build an ore mine right here and that serves absolutely no purpose whatsoever, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, let's do, we can move this up and we'll build another collector right there, which will increase our power and we'll move this cannon up. And we can also lay some collectors back here. That'll give us a pretty good bit. There we go. Do that mess. And actually get protect uh, collectors up here in the middle of the guns as well. So that we collect all of those. I lost an ore mine. Nope. The ship has not died yet. The snipers are firing at it, but they have not yet killed it. Okay, now we're in a rush. We've almost got as much power as we can suck out of this. We're going to move a cannon up to the front so we don't have to build another. And then we need a couple of mortars. Mortar for you, a mortar for you, and a mortar for you. That is, of course, going to slow down the rest of my stuff. That is okay. We've got a couple of full ammo cannons in the back. We're going to move those up to the front end. Use those to stave off the inevitable doom of our species. And good. The beamer down here is doing what it is supposed to do. All right. Forge is up. We're going to increase energy efficiency by one tick. So that is going to help us out pretty greatly up here. And I think we should go for a couple more collectors on the edges of things. 
just to make sure that we're getting as much as we can. So that's there. Good, good, good. All I need to do now is get close enough to kill that spore. That's all I need. Um, you Berthas, we're going to focus fire on this spot right here. Because this is going to be where I make landfall with my stuffs. So this is all set. We need to build a nullifier, which is going to be right there, which unfortunately is not a clear area. So we're gonna move a cannon down, gonna move a cannon down, and move a cannon on down. And then we'll get our nullifier online, which is probably going to take a fair few to build. Not the greatest. All right, spores incoming, but we're good. So there's that. We've got four Berthas firing, and we are pretty well balanced on power. I think I'm going to take you and fire right there. I'm going to take you and fire right there for a little bit more even distribution of stuff. The nullifier is built. We do not need to be feeding these. We're going to stop resupply to those to build the nullifier up faster. And we need to get collectors on the front end here. So that we're getting all the power that we can. Come on, come on. Just get the thing online, that's all I want. All right, Forge, we need, uh, we need your awesomeness here. There goes that. So there is an end to the madness. We're gonna resupply those, and we will build a reactor on here as soon as we can clear the creep. So get those up, get them attacking, and then we shall build our reactor. There we go. Okay, now we need a relay chain. So we're gonna get a relay, we're gonna get another relay, and we're gonna get another relay, and another relay. Maybe even another relay and I think that we should be able to get collectors down on most of this space there we go kind of make sure that everything is connected and then let me see we need um, we've got anti creep spreading we're going to move him over here I think yes yes um, let's do this and make an anti-creep explosion. You three, we're gonna need you over here. All right, you're on the move. We're gonna have to be ready and raring to go to build our relay over here. You got this? All right, if we destroy it over the creeper, it releases all the anti-creep. That was not much anti-creep. I don't think I let it charge enough before I came over here. Ick, 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 ick. Okay, move. Thank you. Move. I need a relay. I need a relay of something awful. This is not at all going to work. Okay, so move you back here. Um... 98%. Yep, we failed. Oh. Okay. Power zone would still be much more useful for something else. He should move one sniper at the bottom closer. There may yet be a sliver of hope. Scanning the enhanced totem. The enhanced totem in the northeast. I think I can now set our nullifiers to destroy it. Oh, so all is not lost. How? The Enhanced Totem is opening its outer guard doors, and I'm able to scan its modulation frequency. It operates just like a normal totem in this regard. If, if you set the nullifiers to the same rift space modulation frequency, they will direct a blast of energy into the heart of the Enhanced Totem and destroy it. Exactly. The only problem is we have to do it before the Prism Ship docks above the Enhanced Totem and completes its firing sequence. Once that happens, everything in this system will be destroyed. All right, it isn't often we get a second chance, so I'll throw everything we have 
at that enhanced totem. Okay, so the ship is lifting off. Um, is this even feasible? Let's build some. Let's build some guppies. Guppies are not going to be able to fly in. Ah. Okay, so. Um. I am at a loss here, guys. How am I supposed to do this? Because I can't fly in. I guess I have to go into the same area here. See, all of this down here, I feel like I should have gotten all of this because this is so much more usable space. But it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, maybe... Maybe if I redo this drop... Is this the one... Yes, this is the one that was destroyed. Can I land something on this? I cannot. Okay, so that's not an option. Um, <clears throat> this is the highest ground, but it is also where the creeper is. But the creeper is probably going to be easiest to keep clear on the higher areas. So let's try here. Yes. Let's try here. And let's see if I can land all of this stuff. <clears throat> we need all of you charged. Yeah, this isn't happening. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, terps? <laughs> Uh, the Terps, I don't think, are going to make it any better. Um, okay, so we got all these in. If I can just get enough shots off to connect a relay here, then I'll be golden. But I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. So that's a problem. Um, let's target you right here. And a relay right here, maybe? Come on, I, I just need... Nope. You have 20 minutes to nullify it or everything in the system will be destroyed. Okay. So that is my timer. That is my timer. And those are not going to work. Alright. Well then. Now I know. So let's cancel out of this and let's pause for a second and think some more. Um, Looking at my no-fly zone here. It is oriented such that the guppies, I could technically make a go for right here. But the creeper is so incredibly deep on this side. Build a crap load of cannons to keep the creeper away from the mortars. Cannons clear areas better. I mean, maybe? Well, also all of the shuttles are going to settle now, so I don't think they're going to be collecting ore anymore. I'm still wondering, 20 minutes, 20 minutes is not much time to build out my islands here. Um, oh, let me land. Let me land again. And build a relay right here. Is it, is it going to be enough? It is not going to be enough. Okay. Alright, move. Um... Yeah, I can use guppies in a very, very super limited spot, like right there. Let me click on it again here. So I can hit, I can, I can line them up from right here and land right there. Or I can land here, or I can land here. But all of this is not a super suitable solution. Let me, um, let me build some, let me build some pelicans. And we will figure out in a minute. I'm going to build five of them. Yes. And we'll play that. Okay, so I'm maintaining my power levels. Let's go ahead and get, uh, let's get some more mortars. Because mortars are going to be something that is necessary. Um, we're going to do that. And then also some cannons. 
And we're going to go ahead and take all of our Berthas and we're going to start firing at this corner right here. <clears throat> Which I think, I think will clear us a space. Yes, it will. But see, again, that is cascading downwards. So we're going to run into some serious problems with um, the flow of creeper coming in. I'm going to need some more Berthas, I think. And I do have enough down here. If I have enough space to build Berthas, that is the bigger problem. Um, da 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 Okay, the ships are still coming out. That's less than desirable. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill some stuff. So we're going to move you up here. And maybe you guys over there, just in case something happens later on, we're going to destroy you. And we're going to use that space to build two more Berthas. <clears throat> we can actually build three more. All right, so we're going to pull all of the cannons off of this miserable island. And we're going to pull them up here for our staging area. You're full on everything. Okay. I think we can make this work. I think. Let's go ahead and move you guys up here. I'm going to move you in this area here. We're going to take all of our mortars and we're going to move over there. Then we're going to take all of our guppies and we're going to, oh, wow, there is not enough space here. Um, um, we're going to just kind of place them around, I think. And hope that we can resupply enough of the outer edge that will make a difference. Um, come on, I just, I just need a little space here. That's all I need. Just a little space. Why can't I lay them here? Is it because of the creeper? No, it's because of the, uh, ooh. Yep, it's because of the necessary edging out of the, ah, dang. I'm glad I brought the beamer along because that was almost disastrous. Okay, so bring you guys back. Bring you back. So we lost those guppies, but that's okay. All right, maybe maybe this is how I should do it. Only I need to put all of my cannons up here. I need to build a relay in the back. And I need to, yeah, yeah, around the gupping landing zone so space doesn't matter. Exactly. Okay, so I think that's going to work. Um, let's go ahead and grab all of the other Berthas, which are going to be charged up at about the same time. And we are going to target right here. Nah, yeah, we're going to target right here to stop the flow from this side. All right, so that's a thing. Um, let's go ahead and grab our efficiency upgrades. And then we need a couple more of our cannons. Because the cannons are actually going to do a fair bit of good there. And let's do the mortars. There's a there's a decent amount of flat space. So that's good. And then while we have a little bit of extra, we're going to get a couple reactors in the back. There we go. My relay. Oh, well. We need a beamer right here. Oh, that means I don't have a beamer on the south. Oh, yep. Don't have a beamer on the south side. Luckily, I have anti-creep. Ooh, we need to turn you to always on to combat this. That's not good at all. At all. Cannon. Cannon. Protect the big Berthas. Ah. Stop. There we go. All right. That, yeah, that means that we don't have a beamer down here. So we need that online ASAP. Okay, I think we've got everything set. Let's try this one more time. We're going to do all of the cannons on the front-ish line. We're going to do all the mortars on the back-ish line. We're going to put all the guppies right back here. That'll work. Awesome. 
And as soon as they land, the first thing we're gonna build is a relay right freaking there. And hopefully that will... Nope. 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 Ah, I'm gonna lose one. Ah! Come on, cannons. You were too slow. Dang. That was a badly planned drop. Well, it almost worked. Come on, let's go back. Let's go back. I'm gonna have to reorganize this. I put the uh, put the guppies in too soon. Put the guppies in too soon, unfortunately. All right, we need uh, we need you. Let's target over here because there's a lot of deep creep on this side. I'm gonna make this work. I am going to make it work. This is the last thing I do, and it very well could be. Um. Any creeper might also help. Come back here. You're not going out there to die. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Cannons on the front. Mortars in the back. All right, we got all of you placed. Now we're going to bring the pelicans. There we go. And then we build a relay in the middle after all the cannons have landed. Good, good. All right, they've all started dying already. Come on, come on, I need you to clear this space. Dang. I gotta get a gun in the back. Ah. I'm at 40% already and I'm thinking this is just not how it's going to work. Why doesn't he assign some bombers to use a huge amount of AC he has in storage? Because because I can't really get in there to do it. I mean, I'll try, hold on. We'll try it out. Um, weapons, bombers, we're gonna do a bomber. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so that's a thing. I did not need anywhere near that many. I don't even know why I built that many. Um, you are all going to be destroyed. And we've got the four. Okay. I've got four, and I will be able to suck all this anti creeper back up. And we will convert it back. And I can actually build Normine here. There we go. We're at 45% now. Um. Yeah, let's just see how this works. Maybe I can fly through the no air zone to the other side and use the air. I mean, that could be a possibility, but I don't see why the game would let me do that. Oh my goodness, I can just fly through it. What? What is this? I am not believing this. This is just ridiculous. All right. Well, apparently this is the thing that happens. So we're going to get Annie creep up in here. I, I guess you can use it as long as you target outside of the actual zone. That's just ridiculous to me. I mean, why? Why would you have it that way? There's our relay. All right, so that's going to start building in just a second. Well, that was easy. Once I get my anti-creeper bombers up in here, 
Goodness gracious, why? Why? Okay, more bombers. I'm gonna build some bombers over here to take advantage of the anti creep on that side. Yowzers! This might actually still be beatable. Um, let's go ahead and pull our guppy over here, I guess. Um, we're gonna grab mortars and get them in range so that we can start killing off all of that stuff. Um, we need to get you over here. We need to also build a beam so that we don't die to horrible spores. And uh, the anti creeper is dying, of course. So we're gonna need to resupply once the bombers come in. You two, I need you to start dropping your payload over here ASAP so that we can keep all of this straight. Good deal, once the mortars get in here, that'll make life a whole lot easier. We still got one pelican feeding everything, so that's good. Uh, we'll need a relay up on front. Huge thank you. I think it, was it Laura? Liara, that made that suggestion. Huge thank you, because I would have never thought that I could literally fly over the top of the anti-air zone to get to a place where I could use my bombers. As illogical as that is, it actually worked. So, that's awesome. All right, the pelicans are just barely keeping up with supply and demand. So I'm actually going to build a couple more guppies over here. Um, there we go. And we're gonna take all of you anti-creep bombers and we're going to drop right here, start spreading the anti-creep like mad. And we're actually gonna try and get a nullifier online to kill this freaking runner spawner here. There we go. Good deal, and we probably need to build a sniper as well. So let's build a sniper back here that'll be able to hit some of those. And yes, the guppies are coming in time to replace. So we're gonna grab you two and go here and here. I think maybe you'll survive. We need another relay though to connect those because they're not close enough. So we're gonna move a turret out of the way and build a relay on this side. There we go. The nullifier is being perpetually stunned, which is a bit disappointing. Um, let's grab all of you guys that are currently focused on that area. Let's focus them up here. There we go. And the anti creeper spread is doing wonders at the moment. Absolute wonders. Sniper as well, killing those things off as soon as they come out. Here's the nullifier, and it's gone. We're immediately going to drop a mortar in this slot so that we can start eating our way in, and we might actually get in and get this thing. Yowzers. I was starting to get super depressed about this mission because it was seeming impossible to get off on the right foot, but hey, I might have actually gotten it first try if I'd known about the second 20 minute timer. What? Yes, chat did try to tell me. Chat definitely did try to tell me, but I cannot play and read at the same time, apparently. Let's move up our mortars. <clears throat> yeah. Multitasking is definitely a joke for me. There's no need to make up the jokes. Bell is over here informing me of such. Um, let me get the, ah, there's the sniper. We need you closer. I'm gonna take you, put you up here, I think. Yes, we can connect there. And we need another relay. As we edge ever closer, we're at 74% and we're actually ahead on our guppies here. So I think we are okay to actually build a whole bunch more stuff. So let's lay down. We're going to get some cannons up in here. Um, I've got surplus power on this side. Ah, you're not uh, auto launch if target set and go here. And we need the same from you. Auto launch if target set and go here. Actually, we're going to move all of these to on top of the anti-creeper. There we go. 
All right, so that's a thing. We're getting close. We are getting close. Gonna drop a couple more cannons up here. The magic mortar is doing amazing work. Now we need to refocus all of the Berthas on this spot here so that we can start edging in and build a nullifier right now. Oh, wow, that was awesome. <laughs> Clear a space indeed. Let's drop as close as we can to this. There we go. And we need more mortars in the back. Set up like so. Okay. Once we get a couple of mortars in here, how close does my nullifier have to be? Right there is where I need my nullifier. So let's build another relay right on the front line. We're gonna grab we need, uh, we need a couple of cannons. Oh, oh, I completely expended all of my resources. That was not smart. Um, we're gonna need, let's build some more pelicans down here. There's our guppies. Nope, not buildable because it's in the anti-airspace. Silly brink. All right, there we go. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. I'm gonna dump all you up here. Move you up just a tad. Just need to clear enough space for a nullifier right there. That's all we need. All we need indeed. Nope. Need it a little further forward. Can I get it right there? Yes, I can. All right, there's the nullifier. As long as we can feed the guppies, or feed it with the guppies, we will be fine. I also forgot about my forge. Let's upgrade packet transfer speed. Because that'll help this build way, way faster. Also, more of you. Ding, 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 ding. And we need the inevitable relay that will connect all of those together. All right, it's charging up. We're almost there, it's set. And at 91%, come on, you can do it. You can do it. I'm counting on you. There it is. <laughs> awesome. Incredible. That was a close call, too close, but we made it. I have some other good news. I've analyzed the wreckage of the ship and I can determine where it was designed to transmit the information to. You said it would send information into the remnants of Rift space. Yes, and the compressed information beam would then exit into normal space. The exit point is only one star system away from here. Ha, ha, ha. Gladius, only your cunningness exceeds your age. What are the odds, Leah? What are the odds we would be here at just the right place? It seems highly improbable. Either we were brought here or the Loki came here. In either case, our destiny awaits. Welp, prepare to warp. All right, I'm gonna claim that victory. That was actually not as hard as everyone made it out to be. Maybe it was the help from chat. Probably the help from chat. <laughs> I had myself psyched up for this thing that was going to take like five or six tries to beat. Psyched myself into restarting the level when I probably should never have. But anyway, thanks for the help chat. That is going to wrap up Farber for whatever that's worth. And we will get on with it in the next stream. Yes, Supreme Burger is absolutely right. Gave you the info all right guys that's gonna wrap it up if you are in the actual stream stick around i'll chat for a little bit longer otherwise though i will see you in the next one